Hey guys, Ayumi here, back with another Battle of Arrow video. Today I wanted to quickly go over the best ways to earn gold, which are these, the gold coins, as well as the gold ingots. All the things you need to do to get the most out of your gold and gold ingots. I'm going to be quick about this, so first of all, regarding the gold ingots, if you, if you haven't done this already, click on Adventure, click on Campaign, and then do all of these campaign bosses, three stars. Uh, you will get a lot of gold ingots from this. Apparently they have nerfed the amount from when I did it. Because you used to get a lot more. But still it's worth doing for the extra gold ingots. Also you want to do the combat logs. Same here, it's been nerfed. You used to get like 40 gold ingots on each of these. Uh, in both chapter 1 and chapter 2, but still you get a lot of gold ingots now as well, so it's definitely worth going through all of the combat log. Same goes for the challenge, uh, I'm gonna skip the daily quest for now. As for the achievements, as you can see I only have 3 achievements left, but if you can see when I scroll down here, there's a bunch of gold chests, gold ingots to be taken from these achievements just a bunch as you can see i keep scrolling and scrolling there's just a shit ton of golden goods chests and gold here to be picked up every time there's an event like there is now i really recommend picking that up as well as you can see the main price is 500 gold ingots get a bunch of these uh, lucky coin sacks or whatever they are called lucky bags which generates a lot of rank up material gold ingots and gold as well as normal gold and gold ingots and rank of materials here as well. Um, so those are the things that you can only do once. Uh, same for the login reward, of course. Um, uh, actually, never mind that. Um, so yeah, you should really do all those things to get your gold and your your gold ingots, etc. When it comes to what kind of gold and gold ingots you can get on a daily basis, you have the login reward, which is a new feature. You get a random from each of day one, day two, day three and more. So every day you log in, if you are um, consecutively logging in every day, you can pick all three of these items, just random. Uh, sometimes you get gold coins, uh, sometimes you get gold ingots. Also on the daily quest, Every single day, you can quickly do 5 quests, which will give you a total of 2250 gold, as well as the 10 gold ingots. This is easily done, sometimes it's enhanced once, as you can see here, hit the body 3 times, the mount 3 times, consecutive headshots 2 times in the arena, uh, some PvE stuff like counselor skill, kill any monster, get an arena crate, send a gift to a friend, etc. All easy things to do most of the time. Sometimes you have to join a raid. If it says um, specifically raid or uh, in a party in the quest, then you have to do it in a raid. Like this one, kill any monster three times, successfully cancel a skill two times. These things can be done in normal campaign mode if you do not want to sign up for a raid. So this is a good way to get some gold and gold ingots every single day. Also, you should join a guild. Uh, when you join a guild, if you're just going to join a guild for the rewards, I recommend going on the ranking here and then click on guild rank. Then move your, down, your way down on the guild list. Uh, look for guilds that are not full. Most of them will have hidden like this, uh, especially the top guilds. But then sometimes you get lucky and you find a guild like, say, this one. Where there's room and you can just join or apply. The reason I recommend being in a good guild, um, this is of course if you're active. If you're not active you're gonna get kicked, but if you are active then you can benefit from the login reward. As you can see my guild has level 4 login reward. This means that since everyone is taking their login reward, as you can see in the tab here it says login on everyone who's taking the reward today. And that is pretty much every one. The reason why I want an active guild like this is because as you can see on the right here, 
you get 11 plus 2 plus 5, so that is 18 gold ingots every single day as um, just for logging in. You also get 2100 plus 400 plus 1000 gold, so 3500 gold coins, as well as the 18 gold ingots every single day for logging into a guild that's active with level 4 login reward. Uh, it's still good with a lo login reward level 3. But I recommend, of course, trying to get a level 4 guild. Um, other things you should do every day is, of course, get the chest you can see down in the corner here. Uh, in the right corner it says free. And it says 7 hours 35 minutes left. This one has an 8 hour cooldown. It gives you gold, rank up materials, and you actually have a really good chance of getting... A and S quality random items from it. I've gotten a bunch of the best items I have from that chest. You can also unlock normal chests from the arena. Uh, I really really recommend you never ever use your gold ingots to open these chests. Just, just take your time, wait out the cooldown. Even the small chests that only cost 12 or 36 gold ingots to open it's just a gold ingot uh, sink. It's just a money drain that they put in the game. I really don't recommend you uh, you speed up the process and open these chests by paying the gold ingots. Um, you can get much more value otherwhere from the gold ingots. Now the, the star chest, which is in the upper right corner here. Um, this one gives roughly 4,800 gold, I think, every three hours plus the items from the chest itself and there's also a really good chance of SNA quality items from this chest too. I've gotten a bunch of my good items from it. Uh, if you guys don't believe me, this is my weapons. As you can see, I have a really shit ton of SNA quality weapons. Same goes for the armor. I have a bunch of SNA quality good gear. This is some of the best gear in the game. Uh, you get these most of the time actually from the star chest and the every eight t uh, every eighth hour free chests. That's where I've gotten most of my good gear. Um, <clears throat> you also get gold from PvPing. I think it's without any boosts, income boosts. You get about 200 gold I think every time you win um, a PvP fight in the arena. Uh, imagine this uh, star chest, you need to win on average, because uh, you get one star for uh, taking down your opponent's shield, win or lose. You get one more star if you win, so that's two stars if you win the if you win the match, and then three stars if you can win the match within fifty seconds. So on average, I guess you need uh, you could potentially do it in ten wins. I think that's the fastest if you get ten wins in a row. With uh, all of them 3 stars, I think that's enough to fill it. But usually you don't get 10 wins in a row, and you, you usually don't kill every single opponent uh, within 50 seconds, I guess. So let's just say it takes you 20 matches, just to be on the safe side, to fill this every 3 hours. That means in 20 matches you also get 4000 gold roughly, uh, 20 times 200 gold. So that's around 4,000 gold from arena winnings alone, plus the almost 5,000 gold from the chest, plus the gold and the items from the chest itself. So that's a good way to earn gold all the way through the day. Of course, you also have raids, where you can earn a lot of gold. The first boss, Tarad, tier 1, he gives you about 200 gold, I think, and it increases for each of the tiers, tier 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to Amon on tier 6, which gives you roughly 600 gold every time you beat him. Uh, the faster you beat the raid boss, the more gold you get. Um, and you also get gold from each of the chests that you get whenever you kill a raid boss. So for Amon, uh, you usually get about 1000 to 11, 1200 gold every time you, you beat him. And for Tarad, you get about six, seven, eight hundred gold every time you beat him, including the gold from the chests, of course. So doing your your daily raiding using your your gold arrows for this is definitely a good idea. And if you guys um, haven't seen my earlier videos, you can grind for specific gear on the specific bosses. 
So let's say you want the Glacier gear, that's tier 3 gear. You want to kill Varagos. If you want, say, a Focused Beast Shortbow, that's tier 2, then you need to kill Garun. If you want the Escape Boots or the Vengeful Ancient Gloves, then you need to kill Amon, etc. If you guys don't know how to find out this, just go on Collection here. And then you can just scroll through the arena 1 through 6 here and you can find out what gear corresponds to each of the different tiers. So you know what boss you want to be farming. Um, every single day I recommend going into the shop and buying this one right here. Uh, the third one from the left on the upper row. The first one uh, will always be cheap, uh, sorry, will always be free. As you say, total purchase count, 1 out of 10. I've already bought this. It's free every single day, no matter what resource it is. It's free, the first one. I recommend picking that up. I also recommend picking up the XP gear, but I do not recommend buying more than max 6 or 7 out of the 10. The reason is it uh, gradually increases in cost buying this. So the last three items cost about the same as the first seven items. So buy max six or seven of these unless you are just rich as fuck. Same goes for the crossbow here or whatever other weapon is uh, available. Max six or seven is uh, what I recommend. Um, as for the new feature up in the left corner here where you can buy gear. Uh, usually there's only the most popular gear items here, they cost 100 gold ingots each. As you can see, the chances of getting the items in S or A quality is really low. However, I must admit it is possible, I have only done it a few times. A couple of days ago I wanted the Vampiric Crossbow, I used 300 gold ingots to try my luck, and on my third try I got an almost maxed out S Vampiric Guardian Crossbow. So it's definitely possible, even though it said it was 0.5% chance of success N. Um, I think that covered most of the daily stuff, as well as the stuff you need to do, like the, the, like the combat log um, and the campaign, etc. Um, also, every week you should try and win in the arena. There's a new season every seven days now, so four times a month. You get a bunch of gold and XP items from the win streak rewards. If you get 15 win streak, you get all this gold, as you can see, as well as seven to eight thousand gold in each of these 13, 14, and 15 win streak chests. The same goes for total wins. There's also a lot of gold inside the 80, 90, and 100 wins chests as well as all the gold you get beforehand. So every single week, if you get the 15 win streak and the 100 wins in the arena, you actually get uh, a lot of gold. I think it's like 70 to 100,000 gold every week just by doing those. Um, so I really recommend that. Of course, you have the friend feature where you can send uh, gifts to your friends. It's only 20 gold each, so if you have a hundred people in your friend list and they all send you uh, and they all send you gold every single day, that's still just 2,000 gold. But it's gold nonetheless. Um, as for the combat log um, stuff and all that, I'm not sure if it works anymore, but you used to be able to just change character. Uh, you actually, if you guys didn't know this, you have two character slots here. And then you can do the same with the other character. Um, keep in mind that your characters have shared... I think they have shared gold, gold ingots, as well as resources. And when I say resources, I mean... I mean this material thing is here. There we go. The materials is also shared, I think. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I covered most of the basics now, so just to summarize real quick, be in a guild, get your daily guild reward, do the daily quests every day, do some uh, raiding, do some PvP, unlock your every 8 hour cooldown free chest, do not use gold ingots to 
quickly unlock your crates here, your arena crates. Just take your time and unlock them uh, the amount of time it takes. Try to get your uh, stars and then uh, get some gold and items from the star chests as often as you want. It has a 3 hour cooldown. So let's say you were to be able to get that chest 5 times a day. You would actually be able to get around 30,000 gold, 25 to 30,000 gold uh, every single day just from that chest alone. Um, I'm pretty sure I've covered all things now. Oh yeah, actually one more thing. Uh, every uh, The start of every month, the special product here changes and you're able to buy... Um, it's not in the menu now. But it gives you 350,000 gold coins for 350 gold ingots. It's 50% uh, off uh, on the price of it, I think. So you get a bunch of gold coins for your gold ingots. It's really worth buying every single month. And if you don't waste all your gold ingots on crap like opening these chests quicker, there should be no problem uh, affording it, which will give you a lot of gold for enhancing and ranking up your gear. Also, of course, you have the rival ranking every three days. If you're in first spot, like I'm right now, that's 200 gold ingots every three days. Second spot is 100 gold ingots, etc., as you can see down here. So that's one way to get your, um, your gold uh, ingots as well. Also, if you are arena grade 6, uh, even if you're just like 19 to 20,000 arena rating when the season ends every week, you're still top 5%, I think, which will give you another 100 gold ingots weekly. So, that's uh, something to be made a note of as well. Pretty sure I covered every single thing now. Just running over here to make sure. Uh, of course, I could mention these crates as well. Uh, the one in the very right end here, the promotion gear crates. If you haven't bought this while ranking up in arena grades, you really should have. Because they have a bunch of A and S guaranteed items unless they changed it. It cost like 500 gold ingots. Uh, if you know you have um, not bought them and then ranked up... So you think it's lost, it's really not. You can just downgrade back to the arena grade um, where you got it. Of course, if it's grade 3 and you're now at arena grade 6, it's going to be quite some work to downgrade all the way back down. But if it's only one rank away or something, then just wait until the season resets um, uh, where you start at uh, the starting rating of that uh, arena grade, so if, you, if it's arena grade 5, it's 10,000, I think. Arena grade 6, it's 18,000, etc. And then just downgrade, just lose on purpose. The easiest way to lose on purpose in arena is just to get a match. Once you get the match fixed, I mean like once you actually get an opponent, just turn off your mobile, um, your internet connectivity on your mobile your Wi-Fi or whatever, just turn it off and back on again and you will be disconnected from the match. You will lose your um, your rating and just click on retry and go into the match again. This is the fastest way to lose rating in this game. Trust me, I've tried. Uh, still, it's going to take some time though if you want to lose several arena grade ranks. Especially if you're arena grade 6, but it is possible. Like right now I am arena grade 6, let's say I know I missed the arena grade 4 rank. Theoretically, if I were to down rank myself uh, over 8000 arena, arena points, I would be the back down in arena grade 4 where I could buy the chest and then I would just have to, to grind up to arena grade 6 again. Uh, keep in mind that if you down rank in grades, you will still have the um, the different skills, as you can see here, will still be available because you have unlocked them uh, in the talent tree. So no, don't worry about that. Pretty sure I covered it all now. Um, if there's something I missed or something you're curious about, feel free to ask me in the comments. Hope this helps. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.